What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Football Manager 2016 video. Now today it's the continuation of my Liverpool FC Let's Play series. I believe it's episode 5 today. We've got two great games coming up for you. We are playing Leicester City at home in the Premier League followed by an away trip to Hull City which doesn't sound too good but obviously Hull City are you know they're doing a lot better than people would predict. They are in 12th place as you can see. Leicester City are actually in 17th but they are last season's champions. So as you can see, it is actually Boxing Day. Now, since the last episode, we actually played Sunderland and Stoke, which was, you know, episode four, which you would have seen by now. We've had two fixtures since then. Uh, and you're probably wondering why you play Hull, you know, so close to each other, literally within the space of nine days. I I asked that question too. But uh, as you can see, so Leicester, uh, sorry, we played Crystal Palace 2-1, uh, a victory away from home. Uh, a early goal from Roberto Firmino. It was kind of rotated team. It wasn't fully rotated, but I wanted to rotate a few players and uh, obviously Roberto Firmino getting the uh, score underway four minutes in and then Felix Paslak with a penalty our right back taking the penalty for whatever reason I was a bit concerned when I saw that happening but you know he put it away nicely and Johan Kabay uh, scoring uh, a consolation goal right towards the end we moved on then to what is a very flattering uh, scoreline, but it really, honestly, it wasn't like that. Obviously, our players played exceptionally well, Joel Matty being the only exception. Uh, we took the lead against Hull City through Daniel Sturridge. Obviously, this was at home because we played them away in this episode. But uh, as I said, we took the lead through Daniel Sturridge uh, six minutes in, which was very nice. And then Abel Hernandez actually scored the goal. It was just a simple cross. It went behind all of our players, and obviously, it was just tucked in very uh, nicely from Abel Hernandez. And then we really struggled. I made some tactical changes and we got an instant, you know, reply from the memory. Shan getting forward, uh, that was kind of the plan, just to move our midfielders centrally a bit more forward. Or with the uh, left back and right back actually getting a bit further forward. As you can see, uh, nine ratings for both uh, left back and right back, which is nice to see. Emre Shan, as I said, gets the goal. Then we got a penalty and Marco Grujic puts it away and then he gets another goal. To make it 4-1, as I said, it was kind of a flattering scoreline. Um, Hull City actually gave us a much better game than that. But today we do have have Leicester City we're going to go through into that game but firstly I'm going to show you the league table we are sitting pretty at the top four points clear of everyone else uh, Manchester City uh, you know in second 37 points we are on 41 points this game after this game it's the turn of the year we're halfway through the season so a victory will put us on 44 points for halfway through the season which is a pretty nice points tally to have uh, obviously Hopefully pick up some more victories between now and the end of the season. <laughs> it would be a bit of a um, bit of a disaster if we don't. Um, you know, I want to win the league. It's not our it's not our aim. You know, well it is, but you know, I'm trying to say the board only want us to qualify for the Europa League. I want to uh, actually knock Manchester United off their perch of 20 Premier League trophies. So I'm going for 21. Uh, hopefully we can get. Um, on 19th this season, I'll just show you that we do have 18. So there we go, 18 Premier Division trophies. Hopefully we can get on 19th, and then we'll only be two away from our target. I want to do all this before Football Manager 2017, but I'm not going to do anything if I keep rambling on. We're going to go and play Leicester City. I'm just going to pick the team, and then I'll be back to show you what I've done. So I was playing with a different skin. I have rotated it, but I do think... This is probably going to go the team, you know, be the team that we're going to play against Leicester and um, change that mentality at the instructions that uh, our assistant is giving us. I believe that's probably going to be the team that we do go with. Um, Sadio Mane is actually back, well, on his way back from injury at least. So maybe I bring him in, but who do I bring him in for? Probably Wijnaldum, because obviously Wijnaldum wants to leave. There's a bit of extra transfer news should talk you through. So Clavan's come in and said he wants to leave. Wijnaldum, as we already know, wants to leave. And Danny Ings actually wants to leave. But that works out quite nicely, because Divock Origi's really not actually getting any football. Uh, he's actually on holiday. Why is he on holiday in the middle of the season? <laughs> actually, yeah, because they have the international break. So I'll be recalling Divock Origi. He's not actually played uh, much football despite them telling me he would, so I'll be recalling him in January and getting him straight back into the first team. But that's the team we're going to go up with against um, the champions Leicester City. Am I going to go with Sergi Samper or am I going to bring in Grujic? No, I'm going to go with... Actually, I'm going to bring in Grujic because he's actually doing quite all right. So that's the team we're going to go with. I'll just change Henderson to box to box as well. So that's the team we're going to go with against Leicester City. Let's get the three points and maintain our lead at the top of the table. 
Karius goes short to Gaia, into Grujic, onto Henson, onto Coutinho. Ball around the back to Sturridge. He actually gets past his man. Daniel Sturridge is in, and it's another great save by Zila. We're starting to put a bit of pressure on Leicester City. Now corner comes in, it's cleared, and Coutinho's on the ball. Gives it to Lovren. Lovren goes back out wide, but it actually hits our left back, unfortunately. Leicester play it long. They're going to come on us again. Here's Schlupp. Schlupp on the ball. He puts the ball into the dangerous area. It actually hits the crossbar, I think. Or Carriers tips it over. Yeah, Carriers tips it over for a corner. Albrighton with it. And it's cleared by Sacco. Moore gets it back out to Albrighton. Back into the box. Sacco there again. Dominant on his return to the team for Joel Matip. Just approaching half-time. Liverpool corner. Sacco's there. And it's Lovren who gets the goal. It's a flick on from Mamadou Sacco to his centre-back partner, Dejan Lovren. We take the lead. Just before half time, 1 0, and it looks like it's going to end that way for the first half. Nice time to score, and I can be pleased with the performance now because we've got a goal for all our hard work, and the lads are quite pleased with that. Felipe Coutinho is the only one that's worrying me. He's not playing too great. I'm going to actually swap him out because we need a bit more, um, a bit more of a threat down that side from Coutinho. If I swap them two over, let's see what that does. Yeah, so I can still play Lallana how he likes to, and I can play Mane as a winger. So, we're going to, actually, I'm going to put him as support, and I'm going to put, yeah, I'm going to put Lallana as support as well, just to make sure we've got that uh, cover going backwards. So, that's what we're going to go with in the second half. Let's try and see out this victory against Leicester. Throw in two us down there, and Lallana. Tackled by Albrain, but we've regained possession. Here's Groyach Henderson, who's playing fine. Lalana, Lalana hits the post. Oh, my word, this should be 2-0. Goes out for a corner. Lalana's going to take it himself, but a much more of a threat down this left-hand side this half since Coutinho's gone off. Sturridge to Lalana yet again. Here's Sturridge. He's making his way towards the box. It's shot, and if someone just got a touch on that, that could have been 2-0 very easily. Marco Grujic, what can he do with it? Lalana, great stuff. Out wide to Gaia, what can he do? He's going to try and beat his man, which he does with ease. Or does he? He's still getting held up. Ball into Sturridge. Gets the shot away. And it's another fine save by the Leicester City goalkeeper. He's keeping them in this game. We've just got to make sure we don't concede the sloppy goal. Because their keeper is having an absolute great game. What can he do with it? He's holding the ball up. Here's Lalana. Can he wait for Sturridge? Yes, he can. Sturridge gets the ball. And it's another great save by the Leicester City goalkeeper. We are having no luck in front of goal today whatsoever. Klein, long throw to Sacco, that's literally half the pitch. Not sure you'd see that in real life. Here's Lalana, Marco Grujic, obviously you can now see the effect of playing counter-attack and we're much deeper, but Gaia still pushing on from the left-back. Goes past his man ball into the box and it's a save by Zeeler. I don't really feel like that was a highlight, which concerns me. There could be a chance here for Leicester. Ball goes long towards Okazaki, Lovren wins the header, Mane gets the ball for us. And he looks for Sturridge. Daniel Sturridge had a good game, but he's not, you know, he should be scoring a few of these chances. Here's Henson. Back to Sturridge. Marco Grujic, what can he do? He shoots from distance, and it's another fine save by the Leicester City goalkeeper. And it's another corner to ourselves. We've had 16 corners this game. That's absolutely crazy. And it goes in. Gaia, oh my word, it could have been an absolute replica of the first goal. Nearly Lovren getting a flick on at the back post. But again, it's another highlight. And a lot of our highlights are actually coming from throw-ins. And Sturridge is uh, down their end, and it's actually cleared. It could have been a big chance there for Manny if he just got there in front of his man. Henderson, Lalana through to Sturridge. He's got to score this one. Oh, and it's a great... Great tackle. There's just so much pressure on Leicester City and Lovren. Oh my word. I feel like Sturridge is getting a load of chances. He should be scoring them. I'm going to bring Barboza on. I know Sturridge would probably score one if I kept him on. But I just feel like I should uh, take this safe option and uh, bring Barboza on just to see if he can freshen it up and maybe get on the score sheet. Just over 10, or well, under 10 minutes to go, and then added time. So probably about 10 minutes left of this game. We're, we're you know, hopefully going to push for a second goal. Here's John Henson, Lalana to Barboza. What can he do? Back to goal, but he gets past his man, Gabriel Barboza. Oh, we could have scored. It would have been a fine goal as well. Here's a corner for Liverpool, our 20th corner of the game. Ball goes in from Lalana. Guy is there, and it's just wide of the post. I think it's another corner to Liverpool. 21 corners in this match. Absolutely crazy. About 50 seconds to go. Hopefully, we can hold on. Henderson, Lalana. Ball through to Barboza, but it's just given Leicester a chance to get the ball forward one more time. 30 seconds to go, but we've actually got the ball back with Emre Can. Just need to keep hold of it and not do something like that. Here's Schlupp. Ball into the box, and Karius deals with 
the cross and that should be that if we just play this safe Carrius holding on for the ball as long as he can puts it upfield it's not been the most convincing of victories but it has been a victory nevertheless I believe there it is full time Leicester City come to Anfield give us a good game to be fair but we see them off just fine 1-0 victory on the day uh, it does move our lead to seven points, but obviously everyone else is yet to play. We're going to jump ahead, see how the rest of the teams do, and then play our next game against Tull City. Okay, so the other teams have played, and as you can see, the team in second, Manchester City, getting a 3-0 away win to Middlesbrough, who were bottom of the league. Arsenal also getting a 3-0 win, who were in third place, and Tottenham getting a 2-1 win. So everyone in and around us, including Manchester United and Chelsea, even in sixth, they're all getting victories. So victories all round, but today... Day. We go away to Hull City, uh, Manchester City go away to Everton, Arsenal play Leicester, Sunderland host Chelsea and where are Man United, they probably, yeah, they play tomorrow against Middlesbrough. So let's play Hull City and get another three points. As you can see, there is the league table. Still sitting in first, four points clear. Let's make it seven, hopefully, if we get the win and City fail to beat Everton. Okay, so there's a lot of tired legs out there, obviously, because there's literally, I believe, what is it, two, two, there's literally, you play on the, so this is a Monday, I'll show you. There's a day between the games, which is absolutely crazy. It's ridiculous the way the fixture schedule works in England, but, you know, hey, ho, um, well, I, I really don't want to rotate too much. Uh, that's the team I'm going to go with. Let's jump into the game against Hull City and hopefully get the three points. This is crazy. We've had 72% possession. I know it's only 10 minutes in, but we've got a chance here, and it's Mane in the box. Oh, wow. It could be It could be 2-0 already, to be honest. And we've got a corner. It's into the box. It's cleared, and it, this could be a counter-attack, actually, for Hull City, as I'm just going to make some changes, and it is going to be a counter-attack. Isabel Hernandez goes a bit wider than he would like, but El Mohamed at back post. Great save, Loris Carrius. He had to be alert there. We got hit on the break. Big style. Wijnaldum looks for the run of our right back into Mane onto Emre Shan, who's the captain for the day Gabriel Barbosa turns his man and it's a goal we lead fantastic take from Gabriel Barbosa 1-0 13 minutes in away from home against Hull City what a start boys it's a free kick Firmino puts it in and oh wow that could have been two it could have been Barbosa with a double inside 20 minutes Okay, so at half time we we uh, we are leading one goal to nil. I'm just gonna say you've played well, but there is room for improvement. That's very true. No one's really asked by the looks of things. We're gonna go out exactly how we were in the first half. To corner for Hill City and uh, Emery Shan actually gets the uh, block and I don't. Oh, actually, it's worked out quite nicely. Barbos is in here. Can he get his second of the game? Yes, he can. It's as simple as that. One fantastic pass. I was going to say I don't know what he's doing, but it works out very, very nicely. Emre Shan, the skipper on the day. Fantastic ball to Barboza, and what a finish from the young man. What have I done there? I don't know what I'm doing. I need Firmino to play in this role now because uh, Wijnaldum's not doing what I want him to do. I'm going to bring Coutinho on for a bit of time, and uh, we'll probably bring off Sadio Mane and Emre Shan later on in the game. But we do lead two goals to nil now. We've got that two-goal cushion. Makes me feel a bit more comfortable about this game now. As Hull City are actually coming on to uh, the attack with Robertson again down this left-hand side. And it's Abel Hernandez. He always scores against us. It's 2-1. Oh, it's quite disappointing because there was hardly any time between our goal and theirs. So the two-goal advantage cancelled out straight away. And Hull City actually have a corner here. And wow, it could have been two all Davies with the header. Looks like we are going to come again because I don't feel like that was much of a chance. And yet again, it's the gap down that left-hand side. Here's Gaia. He's beating his man. Coutinho in the box and it's 3-1. We've got the victory. It's wrapped up. It's like the home match. I'm just going to say exploit that left flank a bit more just in case. But we do have the victory. It's Liverpool 3, Hull City 1. And we're going to go into the new year as the league leaders, which isn't a bad thing at all. There's 10 seconds left of this game. Again, there's more space down that left-hand side, but it doesn't matter. We get the victory 3-1 against Hull City at whatever the stadium's called. I forgot what it's called, to be perfectly honest with you. But obviously, let's just take a look at the other results. So Chelsea uh, falling... Uh, you know, dropping points. Tottenham only getting a 1-0 victory. So, at the minute, we are five points clear, but Manchester City are still yet to play. 
Uh, so we do go into the new year, as you'll be able to see in just a moment, uh, in first place, which is absolutely great. In the next episode, we are going to have that double header against Manchester United. The first game is away at Old Trafford in the league on New Year's Day, followed by a trip, actually a trip for Manchester United to Anfield in the FA Cup third round. That's coming up in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to drop a like on the video, comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's always much appreciated. But thank you all for watching. Until next time. Goodbye.